the performances of rock and roll. In the world of concert rock and roll, nothing trumps access. If you have it, you don't stand in line. You don't even need a ticket. You don't buy dinner. You eat with the band. The trust is a big part of this whole thing. Ask Jay Blakesburg about access. Feeling the energy that comes from the stage with these guys, these musicians, is a rush. And in his case, renewable. He's on a first-name basis with bands and earned that access with a specialized talent. Do you play piano? I don't play piano. Do you play guitar? I do not play guitar. Drums? I do not play drums. What do you play? I play the camera. Chances are you don't know Jay Blakesburg's name, but his work? Iconic, part of an ever-growing archive. I think this is visual anthropology. This night, it's a packed Fox Theater in Oakland for Government Mule, an offshoot of the Allman Brothers Band, starring Warren Haynes. Jay has been sticking cameras in his face since the early 1980s. Wonderful photos. Until this moment, Warren had not seen the latest pictures in Jay's eighth and newest book called Jam, an insider's often backstage look at rock and roll concerts as performance art. I'm capturing energy and I'm capturing music in a fraction of a second. Pictures like these from even this concert do not happen by accident. Jay may shoot 2,000 frames in one evening alone. Then he might keep 100 of them after editing. Often you'll glimpse him on stage in the midst of it all. Yes, musicians do give him that much access. How many guys are there like him? A handful. Jay began doing this at 16 years old, just a kid with his dad's camera at a Grateful Dead concert who ultimately made friends with the band and years later earned enough trust to shoot this famous portrait of Jerry Garcia. I shot these pictures of Jerry at the Grateful Dead office in San Rafael, 1991. They gave me about 90 seconds to do this portrait. In truth, no picture happens easily, and Jay had a special one in mind for the Fox Theater that night. I'm going to shoot that one. You see that guitarist sharing the stage? He's Robbie Krieger of The Doors, and this, a one-time meeting between 1960s rock royalty and new millennial Southern comfort. If only Jay could get all of them together in one room for a shot. Danny, come and sit right there. You can come and sit right there, and then you For 90 guys seconds, can. this man who makes an art of blending into backgrounds took total control. Okay. Should I hold the guitar or not? You guys come a little bit closer in the back there. All right, and Wayne, you got to come out of there now. You got it. So we got it. Oh, he got it. That photograph of Government Mule with Robbie Krieger is pop culture history. And that's what Access really buys. One more small but significant moment for the archive. From Oakland, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News. Good stuff. Well, coming up on ABC 7 News at 9, overseas tensions rising in Ukraine Why a former U.S. ambassador to Russia believes the U.S. should do its best to keep the Russians out of the fight. Plus, out of the blue, Boeing soars into a whole new industry. And we take you backstage into the crowd, where all over Dolby Theater for a look at the Oscars' most buzzed about moments. Another half hour of ABC 7 News at 9 continues. ABC 7 News at 9 on Coffee TV is brought to you by Safeway, giving you real big club card deals this week and every.